next a good welterweight matchup here between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Luke Rockhold. So here's a guy who has essentially beat every top middleweight of his era, the former UFC and Strikeforce middleweight champion, Luke Rockhold, talented southpaw training out of the American Kickboxing Academy, a guy who beat Chris Weidman at one point to realize the UFC middleweight title, and a guy who many believe will be belted once again before his career is said and done. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. So here is the combat sambo master, the Dagestan native Khabib Nurmagomedov. It's really been remarkable what he's been able to accomplish in the UFC. Came in with some hype, and largely Joe has lived up to it every step of the way, working his way towards an eventual UFC lightweight championship fight. Most people believe on any given Saturday night, we are staring at the most dominant 155 pound fighter in the world. This guy has outstanding control on the ground amongst the best in the world at holding his opponent in the position that he would like to keep him in while utilizing his techniques. For this, our main event of the evening. Rockhold is four years his senior. He is five inches taller. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. And with the official introductions, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Mario Yamasaki. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. This man is a mixed martial artist, but he's a professional record now. 16 wins, 4 losses. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting on the Santa Cruz, California. Luke Rockhold! And now, if you see his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, but he's a professional record now. 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, man. We are underway. All right, first round. You ready? You ready? Well, always great to be back in the Pacific time zone. We get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Good to have you with us for a night of UFC action. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the eagle, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch. All right, 
first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Strong transition there, Joe. He goes back to the back. Effective strike there by Nermako Meta. He's looking to take the back. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Nice punch there by Rockwell. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's got the mounted crucifix. This is dangerous. Pretty good right hand. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And he's up. Sprawls here, Joe. Stuffs the takedown here. Rockhold's doing a nice job pummeling. Works in that arm. Now he's got double underhooks. Now it's deeper. His guillotine is now. Tonight. This is intense. Now he's secured side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's in half guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Showing some good defense here, trapping that arm. Tries to pass, but cannot. 15 seconds. He's back to full mount again. The horn sounds for the end of round one. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. The lovely Brittany Palmer is with us. Second round here. Oh, big right hand, yes. Nice jab by Nermago Metal. Rockhold gets hit by that kick to the body. Tags it. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Rockhold gets caught by the elbow there. You know he's tough, but you just don't want to absorb too many more of those. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Postures up. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Nice punch by Nermako Medov. He postures into place. in half guard here. He's in north-south position. Oh, 
He's attacking with the north-south choke. Let's see if he can finish it. It looks like he's got the north-south choke locked in nice and tight. He's dropping his weight down. This could be it. Oh, and my God. will do it. Use excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, you could tell he's been working on his submission game. That was really a choke that was set up perfectly. He got it sunk in deep, and his opponent was going to go to sleep if he didn't tap out, so he took the lesser of two evils, and he's forced to tap. And here's the end. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle So nearly 30 men have tried, and as yet, no one has solved the puzzle. That is the Dagestani Khabib Nurmagomedov proving to be, if not the best, one of the best lightweights in the world. And again, when the striking starts to catch up with the wrestling, this is a guy.